Hello everyone, today we are staying in a cabin at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds and we are very excited. This room sleeps up to six people and has plenty of space for everyone. It does. Now when you pull the beds out, it does tend to get a little bit tight in there in the living room, but we'll show you that in just a minute. Overall, we really like this because you got your mm -hmm. own cabin. You're off to yeah. yourself, you've got your own little site. So it's kind of like you have your own house you've rented and you're still at Disney World though. You get all the amenities, it's really great. It's a very different experience, but it's a very relaxed, fun experience. So let's check it out. So here outside the cabin, you do have your own private parking space for your car or golf cart. And you also have a grill over here just to the left of the driveway. And then each cabin has its own deck that has a picnic table on it. And there are accessible cabins that have a ramp instead of stairs. Now there's two doors to the cabin. The one on the left leads right into the main bedroom. And the one over here on the right, the main door leads us into the living room. When we first walk in, we have the kitchen and dining room area first, and then the living room over to the side, all kind of one big room here. So the dining area, you have a bench and three chairs around the table. You've got a fun print on the wall of what looks to be maybe some concept art for the railroad that used to be here at Fort Wilderness. And there are a couple little hidden Mickeys in there. If you look at the end of the canoe, a couple little details here in the picture. I think, I'm pretty sure, that looks like a 55 right there on the railing, which I would assume is a nod to when Disneyland opened. And then the kitchen area over here on the left, we've got a dishwasher and a sink, and we have a full-size fridge and freezer, and a range with just two burners on it, and then a microwave as well. And the kitchen is stocked with dishes and such. You do have glassware, plates and bowls, silverware and such. Of course, we have to have mason jars because you're here at the campground. It's rustic. It wouldn't be rustic without mason jars. You've got a four slot toaster and a full size coffee maker as well. And they do have some pots and pans down below for cooking. So you've got pretty much everything you need here for staying and cooking. Now in the living room area, we've got a couch that pulls out into a double bed and a very clever hidden Mickey pattern there on the couch. If you look, the larger, darker green circles with the two smaller, lighter green circles make a perfect little hidden Mickey there. I don't know if it counts. I think it should. It looks pretty close to me. And there's a little bench there in the middle of the room that you can move around when you pull the bed out. Super handy to have some extra seating in here. You've got another chair on either side of this large flat screen TV. You do have some storage, and the one on the left is where you'll find the extra blankets and pillows and then the sheets for the pull-out bed here. Now heading back into the other end of the cabin towards the bedroom. In the hallway here, we've got a print of Bambi and Thumper. Super cute little print there. And of course, all the windows have these curtains that are themed to Fort Wilderness. Very much reminds us of Wilderness Lodge, just a little more rustic. Now the bathroom here, there is only one bathroom. It's off to the right in this hallway area. You've got a pretty large countertop in here with the single vanity. A lot of storage space over on the left. You have a couple little shelves there as well. And there are drawers and a couple cabinets down below. Then you have your toilet in the corner. You've got some towel racks and your tub and shower. So you've got a shower in here. No detachable shower head, but you do have the built-in shelves in there. They have the refillable body wash, shampoo, and conditioner in all of these cabins now as well. Now the bedroom area does have a door that separates it from the rest of the cabin. It's got a full length mirror there on the door. And in the bedroom, we've got a queen size bed that does have space for under the bed storage down underneath. They've raised it up, which is really nice for finding somewhere to put those suitcases. You've got a couple lights there above the bed with some bare cutouts, lots of little lamps all around this cabin. And then the picture on the wall is what I would assume is more concept art for the trading post at Frontierland at Disneyland. 
weren't able to find any hidden Mickeys in there, but it's a really nice piece of art. And then right beside the bed is the set of bunk beds that gives you two twin size beds there, one top and one bottom. Each of them has their own little lamp with some deer standing up on the mountains. And in between the two beds, you've got a small nightstand with an alarm clock. And then across from the beds in the room, you do have a small TV there with a couple drawers down below, a little closet area with your iron and ironing board, your built-in safe, and some space for hanging your clothes, as well as an extra blanket and pillow up in the top there. And there's a little nook right over here in the corner, just a little place that you can get ready in the morning. It's got a little countertop there and a mirror and a light up above the mirror as well. Now heading back into the living room area, we do have the bed pulled out. Alyssa pulled that out for us. Like I said, this is a double bed. This is not a queen size bed, but it is a pull out. And you can see once it's pulled out, it does take up most of the room here in the living room area. So probably something you're gonna to wanna to put away whenever you're done using it because it does take up most of the space to get around in here. You can rearrange a little bit and try and move the chair around, but ultimately it's still pretty cramped in here with that bed out if you're using it. So keep that in mind if you're staying here. And that's going to conclude the tour of this cabin at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have about the cabin. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you know when we have even more videos coming. And if you need more information about this resort or any of the Walt Disney World resorts, head over to herewiththeears.com. There's a link in the description below to that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we're here with the ears.